something strange just happened at CERN. We got to check it out. So if you guys don't know what CERN is, CERN is like that hydro collider thing that pushes the particles spinning, spinning, they crash, and then we're supposed to go to another dimension, and they're supposed to open up black holes and all this other stuff, right? So something strange, I guess, just happened at CERN. No one else can explain. So we're going to go ahead and check out the video and see exactly what they're talking about, y'all. There is a tunnel, and machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has become a focal point of revolutionary scientific discoveries. The particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore sh destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it, and therefore things are different in this universe. This video elucidates ten compelling reasons why scientists conjecture that CERN has unlocked a portal to an extra dimension, launching us into a new realm of understanding about the cosmos. Number one, observation of unexplained phenomena. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN is the world's most powerful particle accelerator. At its core, the LHC is a 17-mile ring buried under the France-Switzerland border near Geneva. Look, 17-mile ring. How many people can actually walk 17 miles? Run 17 miles? That's a long distance right there. I don't even like to drive my car 17 miles. I feel like that's way out the way. But yeah, man, just think about the size of that. I just want to put that in perspective for you guys. Where subatomic particles zip around at nearly the speed of light. The LHC allows physicists to recreate the conditions that existed a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. During the early operation stages of the LHC, several unexplained phenomena were observed that baffled scientists. For instance, detectors in the LHC started recording an unexpectedly high number of particle collisions at certain energy levels. These anomalous events did not match predictions based on the standard model of particle physics, which has been the cornerstone of our understanding of the subatomic world for the last half century. Additionally, a series of experiments dubbed as beauty experiments were aimed at measuring the decay of beauty quarks, a type of elementary particle. The results showed discrepancies with the predictions of the standard model, again pointing towards the presence of new physics beyond our current understanding. Anomalies were also observed in the behavior of neutrinos, which are ghostly particles that barely interact with matter. CERN's OPERA, oscillation project with emulsion tracking apparatus experiment, detected neutrinos seemingly traveling faster than light, contradicting Einstein's theory of relativity. Although later attributed to a technical glitch, such observations sparked widespread debate and excitement about the possibilities they could imply, including the existence of extra dimensions. Moreover, LHC's experiments also produced heavier-than-expected Higgs boson particles. This sparked theories that the excess weight could be the result of interactions with particles or fields in a higher dimension, serving as potential evidence of dimensions beyond our conventional three spatial dimensions. Another curious observation pertains to the nature of gravity. Despite being the most familiar force, gravity is the weakest among the fundamental forces of the universe and remains largely unexplained in the realm of particle physics. Some theories suggest that the weakness of gravity can be attributed to its dilution across multiple dimensions, a portion of which could have been accessed by the LHC. Hey, so, like he was saying, gravity is pretty much unexplained, but my theory on gravity is that it's not some unseen force. What it really is, is it's really just the weight of the air, right? I, I, we, we see air. I mean, we don't see air. Clearly, it's around us, but you move your hands, you can feel it, right? You know, and this air is not weightless. It holds weight. It's a certain type of pressure. For instance, it's no different than if you go to the bottom of the ocean, right? At the top of the ocean, it's very you know easy to swim there's not that much pressure but the deeper you go more and more pressure you know and i feel like that's kind of like what we live in in a daily basis because air is basically just another form of water so at the bottom level you have the most pressure the most gravity but as you go higher and higher say for instance when you go to denver which is high altitude you have less ox less oxygen you feel lighter. The gravity is different there. You know, that's why when, you know, the Denver Broncos play football, they kick the ball out of the freaking end zone every kickoff. No one can ever return a kick because the air is lighter. So my take on gravity is that gravity is technically the weight of the air. 
While none of these phenomena provide conclusive evidence for the existence of extra dimensions, they have certainly challenged our understanding of fundamental physics. The observations have introduced questions that the standard model cannot answer, thereby pushing the boundaries of science and opening a door towards a possible new dimension. Consequently, scientists believe that these mysteries might just be the gateway to uncovering an entirely new dimension of reality, possibly opened by the behemoth collider at CERN. Number 2. Particle Acceleration and Extra Dimensions Particle acceleration lies at the heart of the research conducted at CERN. By colliding particles at high energies, scientists aim to unlock the secrets of the universe. In this chapter, we explore how particle acceleration experiments at CERN provide intriguing hints and insights into the existence of extra dimensions. One of the main motivations behind particle acceleration experiments is to probe the fundamental building blocks of matter and their interactions. The high energies achieved at the LHC allow scientists to recreate the extreme conditions that prevailed during the early stages of the universe. It is within these intense collisions that the potential existence of extra dimensions could be revealed. According to certain theoretical frameworks, such as string theory, the universe could possess more than the three spatial dimensions we are familiar with. These extra dimensions, if they exist, would be compactified or curled up at scales much smaller than those accessible to current experiments. The LHC's particle collisions, however, could generate enough energy to briefly unfold these dimensions, providing a glimpse into their existence. One intriguing consequence of extra dimensions is the possibility of new particles associated with their existence. These hypothetical particles, often referred to as Kaluza-Klein modes, are predicted to arise from the quantization of the additional spatial dimensions. When particles collide at high energies, the excess energy could be used to generate these elusive particles, leaving behind distinctive signatures in the detectors at CERN. Furthermore, the behavior of known particles could also be affected by the presence of extra dimensions. For instance, in the presence of extra dimensions, particles could move along trajectories that extend into these hidden dimensions. This would lead to missing energy or momentum in the observed collision events, indicating the escape of particles into the extra dimensions. The detection of missing energy or momentum in certain experiments conducted at the LHC has fueled speculation about the existence of extra dimensions. These observations suggest that particles carrying energy or momentum are escaping into unseen dimensions, resulting in an apparent violation of energy and momentum conservation in our three-dimensional world. In addition to missing energy, the study of particle decays can provide valuable insights into the presence of extra dimensions. The decay processes of particles could exhibit deviations from the predictions of the standard model due to interactions with particles or fields in the extra dimensions. By meticulously analyzing the decay products and their properties, scientists can search for anomalous patterns that could indicate the influence of extra dimensions. While no direct evidence for extra dimensions has been observed at CERN thus far, the high-energy collisions and subsequent measurements provide tantalizing hints that cannot be fully explained by the standard model. These intriguing experimental results have led scientists to believe that the exploration of extra dimensions may be within reach. The quest to understand the true nature of our universe continues, driven by the pursuit of particle acceleration and the potential discovery of a portal to another dimension at CERN. Number 3. Quantum Entanglement Experiments Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon in which particles become in... Hey, I hope y'all got y'all notebooks out because, look, this is a lot of information that they're giving us right now separably linked regardless of the distance between them has long fascinated scientists and has implications for our understanding of the fabric of space and time. In this chapter, we delve into how quantum entanglement experiments conducted at CERN shed light on the possibility of opening a portal to another dimension. At the heart of quantum entanglement is the concept of non-locality, where the state of one particle is instantaneously connected to the state of another even if they are light years apart. This peculiar behavior challenges our intuitive understanding of causality and implies that information can be transmitted faster than the speed of light. 
Scientists at CERN have been conducting experiments to explore the boundaries of quantum entanglement and its potential connection to extra dimensions. One avenue of investigation involves entangling particles and then separating them over large distances. By entangling particles in the lab and then transporting them to different locations, researchers can test the limits of entanglement and investigate whether entangled states can extend into additional dimensions beyond our conventional three spatial dimensions. Such experiments provide a window into the behavior of entangled particles and any potential correlations that could exist across different dimensions. Moreover, quantum entanglement experiments at CERN allow scientists to explore the concept of spooky action at a distance, as famously described by Albert Einstein. If extra dimensions exist, they may serve as a conduit for the seemingly instantaneous interaction between entangled particles. By entangling particles and manipulating their properties, Researchers can study whether these entangled states transcend our three-dimensional reality and offer a glimpse into the existence of hidden dimensions. While quantum entanglement experiments at CERN have not directly revealed the existence of a portal to another dimension, they offer valuable insights into the fundamental nature of reality and its potential connection to hidden dimensions. The delicate interplay between quantum entanglement and the exploration of extra dimensions pushes the boundaries of our understanding, paving the way for groundbreaking discoveries that could reshape our conception of the universe. As scientists continue to probe the mysteries of quantum entanglement, they remain hopeful that it may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of an elusive dimension beyond our reach. Number 4. Micro Black Holes and Their Implications the possibility of micro-black holes, tiny versions of their massive counterparts, has intrigued scientists and sparked discussions about their implications for our understanding of the universe. In this chapter, we delve into how the study of micro-black holes at CERN provides in- Man, look, do y'all agree with what's going on with CERN? Are you for it? Are you against it? Do you think it's just like crazy they're trying to open up a whole nother portal to a whole nother dimension out here? Let me know what you think about CERN down in the comment section. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.